Hi, I'm Sonia Manzano, but you might know me as Maria from Sesame Street. Mommy, could you take a break and help us with the conga? Sure, I love the conga. We come from all around, we're not so different from each other. Siete, rumba, rumba, siete, siete, chiqui, boomba. I am Puerto Rican. I was born in Manhattan, but I was raised in the South Bronx. I lived with my mother, my father, my older sister, and two younger brothers. My neighborhood on Third Avenue was very poor, uh, lots of tenement buildings, and the most wonderful thing about it was that the Third Avenue elevator train ran right by our fourth floor window. You might think that that was unpleasant, but I actually thought it was exciting and it was like a spaceship to me and you could get on that train and you could be anywhere in the city in half an hour. I love to read books when they were available. Even at the library, at school, you weren't allowed to take books home. So I would read a book, remember the last page I had read, and then come back the next week and read a little bit more. I used to watch a lot of television. I used to wonder how come I never saw anybody who looked like me or spoke Spanish or lived in the same kind of neighborhood that I lived in. And I actually used to look at television and say, what part am I gonna play? Because I didn't have any role models. So I just kind of found role models in Mexican movie stars, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's the only time I saw Spanish people in the media. My mother used to take us to those movies and I fell in love with Maria Felix. And I used to love to watch The Little Rascals and they always used to put on a show with Darla doing the tap dance. And I used to say, if Darla can do it, I can do it. And I used to try and put little shows on in my apartment that nobody came to see. I became an actor because of a teacher, actually. And this teacher took me to see West Side Story. All of a sudden, the schoolyard was like a painting. The altar in someone's bedroom was like a cathedral. Crummy things that I saw in my neighborhood all the time looked beautiful. And I think it was that teacher making me see my crummy neighborhood in this beautiful movie look beautiful that I said, oh, that, that's something I can dig. I can dig making beautiful things out of nothing. So I went to college on an acting scholarship and that's how I got into acting. And in college, I did a show called Godspell, and then I got an audition for Sesame Street, and then I became Maria. Well, I became Maria to be what I needed to see myself when I was a kid. And that's why being Maria is so very important to me. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's how I got into writing, because I know the world of Sesame Street, and I knew the characters, so I would write about them. I never would have believed I could have been a writer if I hadn't practiced. I love to write because I can gather my thoughts and put my feelings down on paper and I can control my, my life better that way. It's never too late to learn something because I was raised in the Bronx, I lived in the Bronx until I went away to college and I never knew that there was a high bridge, a pedestrian bridge in the Bronx. And I know about it because of the Bronx Children's Museum. I decided to write the story of the high bridge and I gave the high bridge a little face, you know, like it's talking to you. And I'll read the first page because I really like it. Everything and everybody has a story with some happy parts and some sad parts. This is my story. I am the high bridge and my story begins with water. There was plenty of it. You don't believe me? Look at the map. So guess what? That's the high bridge right over there. Can you see it? Take a look at it. In one day, you can play in a park in the Bronx and then go play in a park in Manhattan because the high bridge 
is what you need to connect you with your little feet and take you across. You know how you dream big? You set little goals for yourself and then you achieve them.